In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the distance from a plane in 3D space to the origin. And for that, I'm going to work through the example that we're given here, in which we're asked to find the distance from the plane 2x minus 3y plus z equals to 8 to the origin. Well, let me start by summarizing the method using the generic plane I have here. In Cartesian form, this plane has an equation ax plus by plus CZ, which equals to some number which I'll call capital D. And the first thing we'll want to do when finding the distance from this plane to the origin is to define the normal vector to this plane that we obtain using the coefficients A, B, and C. In other words, we start by defining the normal vector N, whose components are A, B, and C. And in fact, I could add that normal vector to my diagram here. I'll say the normal vector looks something like this. There we go, that's N. Now the distance from this plane to the origin, I'll call lowercase d, and it's given by the absolute value of capital D divided by the magnitude of the normal n we just defined. And I'll go ahead and box that. Do make a note of this formula. This distance d is the perpendicular distance from the plane to the origin. So if I illustrate that here with this pink line segment, its length is lowercase d. Okay, now that we have the formula, let's go ahead and use it to work through this example. And I'll just write SOL as in solution. So the first thing I do is define a normal vector to the plane using the coefficients 2, negative 3, and 1. And I'll just write that here. So I define the normal vector n, whose components are 2, negative 3, and 1. Next, looking at the formula I have here, I need to calculate the magnitude of that normal vector n. And so I'll do that right here. The magnitude of vector n is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 1 squared. That's equal to the square root of 4 plus 9 plus 1. In other words, the magnitude of the normal vector n is equal to the square root of 14. All I have to do now is use this formula. And I can state that the distance d is equal to the absolute value of capital D, well in this case the capital D here is the 8 we have on the right hand side, so its absolute value is just equal to 8, and we divide that by the magnitude of n, so that's the square root of 14 that we just found. And that's the answer. We've just found the distance from this plane to the origin. And if needs be, you could use your calculator to estimate this. And in doing so, I find that's equal to 2.14, where I've rounded to three significant figures. Okay, now before I finish, let me add one more thing. In the formula we have here, we see that the capital D, which in this case was 8, is inside an absolute value. And the reason for that is because at times, the number on the right-hand side of the Cartesian equation may be negative. And so that's the last thing I want to talk about in this video, that is how to interpret a negative right-hand side in a plane's Cartesian equation. And for that, let me copy this plane equation, but I'll replace this 8 by negative 8. So that would be 2x minus 3y plus z equals to negative 8. Now you can go ahead and check, but using this formula, you'll find that this plane is at the same distance from the origin as the one we just worked with. The reason for that is because this negative 8 here would end up inside this absolute value and would give us 8 again. But what this negative 8 is actually telling us is that this plane is on the opposite side of the origin as this plane is. And if I were to try and draw that here, it would be the plane at the bottom here on the opposite side of the origin. Since the coefficients on the left hand side of both of these planes Cartesian equations are the same, they both have the same normal vector. Consequently, both of these planes are parallel, and the fact that they have opposite right-hand sides tells us that they lie on opposite sides of the origin. And there we go. We now know how to find the distance from a plane to the origin, using the formula we have here, and we've also seen how to interpret opposite right-hand sides in a plane's Cartesian equation. And that's it for this tutorial.